Now in Brazil, more witness testimonies will be heard in the second day of Dilma Rousseff's impeachment trial. The defense will be calling six former staff members of the suspended Brazilian president to the stand. TRT's Annalise Borges is in Brasilia with a wrap on the first day of questioning. The first day in the final impeachment session was marked by heated exchanges and the disqualification of a key prosecution witness. During the opening statements, two senators were seen exchanging insults uh, over the credibility of this trial, setting the tone for what we're likely to see here in the next few days. And just hours later, of course, uh, that key witness, Julio Marcelo de Oliveira, being deemed, uh, being deemed not reliable and biased by the defense, who chose then to disqualify that witness who was said to have uh, posted on social media certain comments about this process. Now, the prosecution will only have one witness and the defense will have six witnesses who will testify, uh, who will speak on behalf of suspended President Dilma Rousseff, including Brazil's former finance minister. Now, all 81 senators will be given time to question each one of the witnesses. And of course, after that, there will be closing statements by each one of the sides. After that, there will be a debate and only then will a vote actually take place. So this will be a marathon session expected to last up to seven days here. And of course, the most anticipated moment will be Dilma's, Dilma Rousseff's appearance here in the Senate. She's expected to come here and defend herself against accusations. And uh, TRT World obtained an exclusive interview with the lawyer of uh, suspended President Dilma Rousseff, Luis Eduardo Cardozo. Here's what he had to say. I have no doubt that if this was a process that was to be judged with impartiality or based on evidence, Dilma Rousseff would already have been acquitted a long time ago. The accusations are fragile, the evidence is non-existent, and each day that goes by this is under a spotlight. What's happening here is an attempt to find a pretext to try and remove from office a president that has been democratically elected. It's a coup, a parliamentary coup. There's no doubt about it. When Brazilians look back uh, at this chapter in their history, how do you think they will remember it? I believe this period will be remembered with shame, the same way we feel ashamed of our military dictatorship in 1964. Back then, there were tanks on the streets for the coup. This coup has no tanks on the streets, nor weapons. Instead, they are tearing up the Constitution under a false legitimacy. In reality, what they wanted to make look like a serious process is falling apart. So I believe history will register if this process does end with her removal as a sad period in Brazilian history in which truth was murdered by treason, hypocrisy and by a profound authoritarianism. And you're in touch with the suspended president. How is Dilma Rousseff doing at the moment? How is she feeling? She is a person who has suffered a lot. During the military dictatorship, she was arrested, tortured. She has this strength and determination I've never seen in anyone else in my life. So she's doing fine because she is a warrior who is fighting for a just cause.